Hello, welcome to PlayStation Access. My name is Nathan, and I'm here with Rob. Hello. Rob, newly returned from PSX. Yes. Wherein you played Neo. I did play Neo. You've joined me and uh, the team of people who've played Neo <laughs> and were not very good at it. <laughs> um, yeah, I did play Neo. Uh, this is not what you're watching. Oh, really? Because uh, when I played Neo... It was hard, right? It was really, really hard. Uh -huh. And I thought to myself, we could make this a video, but it would have to be called... 17 ways I died in the first area of Neo. Yeah. So I went back the next day and got a very kind developer called uh, Nick to yeah. play Neo for me. And uh, he was much better. A developer on Neo, right? Not just some random guy who makes it. <laughs> yeah, just some guy who was in the area. So what did you... So it is... I heard it actually in the... We didn't put it in the vlog, but you can watch Rob and Holly's uh, vlog from PSX in Access Granted, which is on the channel right now. But in one of the offshoots from that, which no one else got to see, you said it was like a mix between the Souls games and Ninja Gaiden. And I think that's probably pretty fair. Do yeah, I mean, expand it's, upon it's that? developed by Team Ninja, isn't it? The mm -hmm. developers of Ninja Gaiden and the Dark Souls influences are incredibly apparent throughout yeah. it's a uh, a game where each enemy is incredibly challenging there's no such thing as cannon fodder in neo no. you have to be concentrating all the time on everything you fight and you have to you know be know what you're doing every time and you know if you die all the enemies respawn uh, there yeah. are Altars, I think they're called. You probably see some in the gameplay but here. Like little that green you can dudes. Pray at, which are essentially Neo's version of bonfires from the Souls games. Yeah, and and you can even pick up Souls like yeah, um, Souls like things. Yes, um, like little glowing items. Yeah, but the combat, if anything, is actually more complicated. Yes, um, the kind of Ninja Gaiden thing is quite apparent. The combat is, slight, I want to say, faster than Dark Souls. Yeah, but in terms of the pace of the action, it's probably about the same, but your character seems to have more about him combat-wise than any of the Souls characters would. I mean... There's more to get to grips with, yeah. right? There's you've got a bunch of weapons. You've got ranged weapons. Um, you've got, like, a bow and arrow. You've got, like, a shotgun. Mm. And you've got uh, close-range weapons. You've got, like, a sword. And I think we're going to see, like, a spinning whip type thing. I don't know the name for that. What's that? A flail? A flail. Maybe, like, a flail. Um, but you know, using the correct weapon on the correct enemy is crucial. Yeah. Because otherwise you're gonna die. But there's also stances as well. There's like aren't there like there's there's high there's like defensive stance, attacking stance. Um I mean, and maybe you didn't even like experiment. I didn't do any of this in <laughs> Because I, I really <laughs> I just died. Because like, I played it with Dave and we played it at, I think it was um, yeah it was at E three and we went through it maybe three or four times we were trying to record a run you know where i was alive for a stretch of time that wasn't completely embarrassing yeah um that's difficult to do that and i went in you know we did a tutorial and i went in thinking i'm going to do some stance work in this capture um but then as soon as you get started into it you know it's a whole like you're concentrating in that way that people who've played the souls games might be familiar you're like completely engaged concentrating on your blocking and you just want to kind of sensibly make your way through the enemies and then afterwards you're like I did not use any of my starts, yep. like, and they must help. Uh, so it's like an, a whole added extra layer. What did you think of the one of the things which I think is um, really is original is the uh, character design. I think like um, I mean I do love Dark Souls, and I love that uh, that that series has been influenced by the fighting fantasy books, which I kind of grew up uh, reading. So it's got that kind of Western style, but this is much more. These there are kind of like Eastern demons in this game. Yeah, and there terrifying and amazing we'll see a boss later on in this in this gameplay footage yeah who i mean dark souls bosses are always incredibly well designed yeah this is up there i think she's an app she's called the ogress she's an absolute <laughs> monstrosity <laughs> she's kind of like you can just see in her actions she's suffering badly yeah. she's in a lot of pain and just her movement as well it's desperate and erratic like she wants to get rid of you like you're the thing causing her pain there's and there's but I love the use of color I think because I, I mean um, even you know even Bloodborne is basically a, a game made up of black or red yeah uh, whereas this like there are kind of more vibrant there's glowing purples and you know bright yeah. reds it's a very pretty game but while it's very pretty I also found it quite oppressive in a good way yeah like not just because it, it was handling yeah, you it's your not like ass. Nino Cooney you're not running around and thinking oh that's lovely. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're only around thinking, oh God, what's going to kill me next? Uh, but like Dark Souls, even though I'm absolutely rubbish at Neo, it is still absolutely brilliant. Like, I died so many times in the first area, and then I was fighting this guy on like a, a 
catwalk area and I nudged him and he kind of lost his balance on the edge of this uh, catwalk and fell to the ground and I flew down after him, did a finishing move on him just completely instinctively and it worked and it did massive amounts of damage and you just massive get that feeling damage. of, yes! Do you know, and, and, Man, that's great. And it definitely felt to me because like I said, I played the same area over and over again. You get that kind of, uh, that learning curve of the Souls games where it, you get to an area and you're just like, no, like I, there's no way that I can't yeah. understand what's happening here. And like, and then eventually you realise, you know, how you're going to have to deal with certain enemies, what resources you're going to need to save for later bits. And then, uh, I don't know, like you saw it, I, I love the, like his constant sense of kind of overcoming adversity in these games where uh, you arrive somewhere thinking this is never going to happen. And then, you know, a few weeks <laughs> later, <laughs> weeks, yes, you, you were kind of running through it. And it's like an area that you've just, you know, that you've practiced. And, yeah. You know, I mean, that's the, that's the joy of it, isn't it? You get to a point where you're so good at a certain area, you know everything off by heart, you know what the enemies are capable of, that you can just go through looking like a complete badass. And in Neo, I think your character is tailored more to looking like a badass than your character in Dark Souls. Yeah. Because you're a ninja, you're like a samurai, Do you awesome know warrior. I mean, I was boring Dave with this when we played at E3, but you know he's based on Will Adam, which is one of the first, really? one of the first Europeans to make it to Japan. I did not know he's that. He's from Jinnigan, which is where I'm <laughs> From Gillingham? Yeah, he's one of the yeah one of the very few things that we can boast about from Gillingham. Wow. Big, uh, there's there's a Will Adams Memorial there. We, I could take you. There. That's some trivia. I just love that it's even in uh, just just the flowers, you know, just the fact it's in a garden. Well, it's just you, a completely different palette. You might not have seen from the cutscene, but the flowers come from the ogress's tears. Aww. She cries tears of blood, Creep. and they hit the ground, and these red flowers just bloom. So this garden of yeah. red flowers is basically the garden of the ogress's tears. That's lovely. I mean, that's poetic. You know, it's, I love the way it kind of tells story like that, how the Souls games and, and now Neo tell their story. Like, I know so much about this character just from the way she moves. Yeah. And her animation. I mean, you get you get down to like a certain point of health when she gets below half health and her moves get really desperate. Right. She's like really scrabbling to get you in it. You have to really be on your game. And the, I guess the other thing to mention is that we, we, we should have probably put up the top, but this you played this uh, in 4K. On yeah. a, I saw the TV, it looked enormous. It was, it was bigger than me, um, and literally. And Neo is one of, uh, one of the games which obviously has uh, not just been optimised for Pro, uh, but has various op options that you can, um, you, you can either improve performance on the 1080 version or there's various things you can do in the 4K version. Um, but you were playing this, yeah, you were playing this on a pro and this is, this foot, the footage that we're putting up at the moment uh, is 4K. So yes. Enjoy, enjoy that. Uh, well, Rob, thank you for showing me. Uh, it's That's basically right. it's like, you, it's like coming back. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> It's like when you come back from a holiday and you're just sharing all your photos with you. And I already cut the blog together for you, so you know, like I've seen. This it was is where like I died. I was almost. Yeah. This <laughs> is where I died again. <laughs> I was almost there with you. Um, right, so that's it. Thank you guys for uh, for watching us or Nick play Neo at PSX. We are going to have more of Neo coming up in the new year because it's a game which I think we're all quite interested at. Uh, and if none of that ever goes up, it's because you know we never got very good at the game. Um, so like, <laughs> very likely. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment, let us know what you think about Neo uh, in the comments below. And do subscribe to PlayStation Access. We've got loads more coming up.